Hi everyone, this is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update and we're looking at the Dow up 304 points at 35,270. Remember, we were looking at this declining trend line here, a little channel, and it kept being repelled. Well, not today. It spiraled up much sharper and this is very important because how it closes is going to be uh, a key to what we'll be looking at on, on Monday or Tuesday. So far, it looks like <clears throat> that there's a chance that we've gone to a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode in the Dow on a daily basis. A monthly chart, still have to wait for the Friday close. Look at the S&P. S&P at this particular point is also up very sharply, up 30 at 44.68. Remember we were talking about this yesterday, and I drew this in. I said if there could be a one-to-one -one breakout, that's the technique we use for this Chapman Wave falling axis, the declining uh, channel, mini channel right here. We can do a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside, and here it is. And it looked like it was crazy, but 44.70s, is the target on that one to one, and it's up uh, at 40, uh, what am I, 44.68 right now, up 30. Look at the QQQ, also trying to participate. Looking much better, but still very weak overall. It's still going to be digesting these gains for a while, up $1.82 at 368. Look at the IWM, going to the upper part of that rectangle formation. Uh, that's going to be very important at 227.88. If on any time next week it can hit 230.20, that says, hey, there's a good chance that it can go to the all-time high. Well, we'll see what happens, but a key support is at 225, small caps that is. And now we're going to go to gold. Gold pulled back sharply after a spectacular move um, two days ago. It's down 22 at 1775. It's still in play, but within a rectangle formation. And if you're looking at crude oil, no, 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 no. It's making an all-time, uh, not an all-time, but a recovery high. It just keeps doing that. It's up 82 cents at 82.13. And the TLT is going to be very important next week. If the TLT at 144 starts to trade in the 146.80 or high area, or 143 or lower area because that's going to impact the uh, yields. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesaventa coming up. Should be a wonderful show as always with Larry. Then you've got Think or Swim. Steve Rose recorded his show at 8, 8 o'clock this morning. So it, uh, we know exactly what he said. And it was really interesting. You've got Dave White. Dave White always has his, I don't know what he's done today, his options exploration. We'll see what happens. And you've got Tom O'Brien. Tom O'Brien, Mr. Goldie. So have a wonderful day. And don't forget, Tommy O'Brien starts us off at 9 o'clock every market day. It's really worth listening to. Puts the fundamentals together with the technicals. Have a wonderful weekend. Check out my webinar coming up on Tuesday at 4 o'clock for my subscribers to the opening call. Have a wonderful weekend.